Hello everyone, how's it going? Doctor Incompetent here, and let's play some Bard's Tale, shall we? Alright. Well, last time, we encountered a miracle where everyone leveled up, except for Sir Grady, who was killed. But we were able to get him back for free from the Guild of Thieves, which is also the Cleric's Guild, and somehow resurrects its thieves for free, or heals them for free. It's tremendous funny. Unfortunate that Grady didn't level up, but great that everyone else did. We learned how dangerous the night can be, and I'm looking forward to going to see if we can survive the evening and then go level up. So, let's get to it. Now, I don't know how time passes. I don't know what time it is. It doesn't look like nighttime. It looks like today. So, I mean, the sun appears to be out. So I don't know um, what went down there, but I'll take it. And uh, this is the Board of Review, isn't it? Yes. Okay, so I would like to advance uh, Brian the Fist, and he gets 16 hit points and a strength. It says the guild leaders... Oh, darn. I, I didn't read that fast enough. Uh, I want to see some more on that. So what about El Cid? It says, the guild leader is deemed that El Cid hath earned a level of advancement. He got eight hit points in the constitution. So it seems to be that that the pattern is you get a set amount of hit points. Um, well, not set amount. Maybe it's a roll uh, of hit points based on what class you are. And, you know, um, random or set, not sure. And then you get a stat of some either predetermined thing or random. Let's see, Marcus... Nine hit points and a strength. Um, six spell points, two hit points and a luck for Merlin. And then Merlin has a sun next to him, which I'm hoping means more spells. And then Omar got two hit points, six spell points, and constitution. Now, I'm going to just say right out, I don't think this costs any money. Like, they just have to review your application and as long as these purple-robed, magenta-robed um, individuals deem that you're worthy, you get up a level and you get all these bonuses. Uh, I remember, for example, in like Might and Magic 3, a lot of these old games, leveling is very expensive and it can be prohibitive. Not so much here, and that's great. Uh, let's see. Let's look about um, uh, nobody's application we need to review. Let's see what happens. Um, they just tell you how many he needs. Okay, cool. But how do you get out of this screen? You just push escape. Okay, and then I'm going to go to spell acquiring. And um, Merlin does. And here we go. Here's the cost. Conjurer spell level 2 will cost the 1,000 in gold, but you'll get three or four spells. Battle skill, freeze foes, kills, magic compass, and word of healing. Yeah. Um, I'll pay now. Great. So, I mean, again, spells can be very expensive. But getting all of them, the whole package for a set fee is great. And then um, spell acquiring for Omar. And we get area, enchant, holy water, mage gauntlets, and wither strike. Wither strike sounds really good. If we can get Omar a damage, like a direct damage spell to participate in battle, that's that would be fantastic. Now look at us. Sir Grady's hit points didn't level, but Brian and El Cid, you know, are getting up there in hit points where they can. Uh, maybe take a, a hit or two more easily before getting wrecked. And I really am glad about that. Uh, so now, uh, class change. Which mage seeks to change their class? Interesting. What if I said Merlin? You must know at least three spells levels in your present art first. Oh, okay. So after you get three spell levels, apparently mages can train or change classes. That's cool. Uh, we won't worry about that now. And I'm just going to be happy that I was able to acquire what I did. Now I'm going to go into um, Cast a Spell and Merlin. And let's just look at some of these spells. So uh, Freeze Foes is a group. And it says it binds your enemies with magical force, slowing their movements and making them easier to hit. Okay. Uh, Sorcerer's Shield... The mage is protected. Now, we already know what that one did. Um, what about magical compass? 
A compass of shimmering mage light appears above the party, telling them what direction they face. Okay, that's nice. Battle skill says the spell increases one of your party members' skills with weapons, increasing accuracy and ferocity of their attacks. Nice. And word of healing. Um, oh, they can cure the whole party. Oh, they cure a single party member for uh, 4 to 16. Okay, well, that's actually pretty tremendous because what that means is... Uh, now both Merlin and Omar can heal people. Mage Flame, um, level 1, level 1, level 1. Oh, uh, Freeze Foes, one, 2, 2, 2. Okay. Um, yep, okay, okay, okay. And then Omar, um, what do your spell list look like? Oh, God, not that. Spell list. Um, okay, we've got... We can make Metal Glow so we can see... Um, and this will help us show our location in the labyrinth. Uh, okay, we got that. Now this is holy water. A spray of water will emanate from the mage's fingers, doing 6 to 24 points of damage to any undead foe. Uh, okay, good. Area enchant. This will cause the dungeon walls uh, within 30 feet of a stairway to call out if the party is traveling toward it. Oh, okay, so we... This will tell us where a stairway is to help us get out. Mage gauntlets. Um, this seems like... It's the same as Vorpal Plating. Four to 16. No, it's double the strength of Vorpal Plating. I see. And then Wither Strike. Any foe at whom this spell is cast is likely to be turned old. Uh, thus reducing their ability to attack and defend in combat. So darn it, still this caster doesn't have anything to do damage except holy water. So against the undead we have some damage. We can give damage to others, but... Anyway, not the best, not the worst. Oh, and if I actually look at this screen, it says Conjurer um, and Magician, Sorcerer, Wizard. So these might be the other classes you could change to, Sorcerer or Wizard, perhaps. Um, I am, I have a Conjurer and a Magician. And I don't know if there's separate spells for Sorcerer and Wizard, if they are hybrids, or if um, they're just a natural progression. We will find out. Okay, so let's just keep going around and uh, let's look in some of these places. I haven't been in here. And it's three Conjurers. Okay, hi. I don't think I need to wither you guys. You look, uh... Advance ahead. What does that mean? Does that mean I just walk through these guys? What does that do? Oh, maybe it just attempts to walk past them? Um, okay, I'm gonna fight them. That was, that was dangerous. Okay, let's, uh, attack. 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 And... Yeah, attack. Cast a spell. Let's go ahead and, uh... No enemies in range. Oh, did I... Are they far away from me? Maybe that's what advance means. Maybe it means that they're... Oh, I see. It says they're 40 feet away. Oh, okay. Um... Attack, attack, attack... I can still attack, I guess. Um, but I can't hit with that spell. Alright. Um, I'll freeze them. Then... Mm -hmm. I'll mage gauntlets uh, Marcus. I guess. Yep. Yeah, they're all too far away. I can't hit. Um, I need to advance. Alright, I need to advance. They're advancing now. Okay, now we're like right up in, on each other. Okay, that's hilarious. So, I that's my first time noticing that mechanic, which is that you have to cover ground to be able to reach the enemy. And that's hysterical considering uh, I walked into a building. I don't know how big this building is, but it's apparently enormous, um, and that's fine. I mean, they were 50 feet, 40 feet away from me uh, starting out, so okay. 
and now we can fight and we can attack 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 cast arc fire uh, on these guys and nobody is so hurt nobody is actually hurt at all so I'm just gonna defend All right, we killed them all. We got a torch. Beautiful. And it's an empty house. Okay. Now, it was verified to me um, by Dice in the chat that the town never, and I mean never, um, gets free of enemies that you can always encounter. Like right here. We just found these guys. Um, <laughs> all right, so... You, you'll never be free of them, but hopefully we can get strong enough where we just don't care. Attack, attack, attack. Defend, defend. Yes. Yeah, like that. We just annihilated those guys. Before they could even act and do damage. It says you can use Trap Zap to disarm any traps you encounter. So we'll be ready for that if we need to. Luckily it just tells you, I'm on Blacksmith Street, like where you've been. Don't venture too far into any dungeon without your maximum spell points. A good rule is to leave a dungeon when you are down to one quarter of your maximum spell points. Okay. That is a good rule. I like it. Locate traps, second sight, and sorcerer sight spells. All identify traps within 30 feet. Trap zap. Look, I'm trying to read the note, dude. Oh, he withered me. Uh, fine. How dare you make Brian old? You monster. You absolute old monster. He's dead. He's been ushered into the grave by us. Um, trap zap spells disarm all traps within 30 feet. Okay, so we could locate traps if we wanted to. Or, ouch, and that was not smart. Where are we? Oh. Uh, I want to see myself on the map. We're on Blacksmith Street, right? Did I turn around then? I must have gone up in this direction. Hawk Scabbard. Let's see if we're at Hawk Scabbard. It doesn't seem like it. We got a free short sword. How about that? And a lamp. You're darn right we did. And leather armor. I'm going to go into all these buildings. It's empty. Oh, my. Hi, buddy. Attack, attack, attack. Defend, defend. Yes. Dead. Hmm, a halberd. All right. Okay. Um. I can see where I am on the map now. All right, so if I'm facing this, I am up in this region, so I'd need to kind of come back around to go into this fort, or I could go through the gate over at number two. Let's see if I can find that gate at number two. There are no cursed or bad items. Okay, good. All items you find are good then, apparently. Oh, I turned around. All right. What I want to do is check this gate. Yeah, here it is. Um, you stand before an iron gate beyond which stands... Kyliaran's Tower to the east. Okay, did I make it? Oh, yeah, I walked through. I'm on the blue highway. You're darn right I'm on the blue highway. Exit. Uh, by the way, the tavern on Rakir Street is the only tavern that serves wine, and that wine goes down easily. You may wish to drop by to wet the whistle of your bard. Good luck. Ah, that's the explanation there about how to help your bard. Exit. It's the only tavern that serves it. That's funny. Oh my god. It's these guys. We're apparently performing a uh, purge on the elderly today. I am going to cast Arcfire just to usher these guys into their grave a little faster. Good job, everybody. Got some scale armor. Got a bunch of gold. Paying for our spells that we learned. Um, Sir Grady has got to be getting close. Oh. That's eight kobolds. That's a lot. Let's see if we can handle this. 
attack, attack. Um, Bard song. Oh, we got some new songs, didn't we? Uh, let's see. This song will soothe your savage foes, making them do less damage. Difficult to hit. Increased the party's chance of hitting. Protection against spell casting. Increases our damage. And um, heal the party's wounds. We don't need that one just yet. So let's go ahead and um, just do this one. Make them do less damage. And then I will attack. And then I'm going to cast a spell. Yeah, I'll arc fire at the kobolds. And we can cast a spell here. Uh, Mage gauntlets on uh, Sir Grady. And yes. We got hit a lot more than I wanted to. Our music takes place, and we're hitting them. Um, okay, so... Nobody is in dire need. I do wish it didn't say old for Brian's max hit points, but 45 is still good. So attack, 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 attack. We're going to cast Arc Fire again, because there's still so many, and we'll just defend. This should be fine. Yeah, the spell makes them do almost no damage. And so there's two left. Fight. Attack, 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 attack. Defend, defend. Yes. How about that? Now that's 80 experience. That's almost 1,000 gold. Seek out the review board. You need to visit there to be awarded new levels and spells. Again, this game predates Might Magic um, 3 by a good bit. But I love how many of the old games of this ilk do this, which is basically build a tutorial within a starting area where there's either signs or books or statues or something, people that just give you tips about the game that you need to play it. Uh, it's great. And so you, you just get rewarded for exploring by finding out... Oh, wait, what did you say here? It was right here. Temples are divine places of resurrection and complete healing. In fact, this is the only place to cure characters who have been withered or turned to stone. Oh, well, that tells me I should probably make my way back to the temple. Let me look at where I'm at on the map. I'm on the blue highway, so I need to curl back around all the way to the temple. Let's do that. I don't want it to become nightfall and for me to not be able to... Um, go to the temple. My first time seeing this screen, and um, the denizens of this mystic place assault you without warning. You see two mad dogs. Indeed, these are mad dogs. These dogs uh, are frothing at the mouth, and they look like dogs on the head, but the body is broad of shoulder, like Chewbacca. You know, they're like a uh, Chewbacca body with dog head. And so, even more scary than they could be otherwise. I'm going to just see how tough they are by just doing this. Everybody attack except the casters. Yeah, we won pretty handily there. 60 experience points. So, those they must be actually kind of hard. They gave a, a br pretty good reward. I'm just going into that building to map it out, by the way. And I'm going to go down this way. And uh, we are very, very close. This is the shop. You know what I can do here is, uh, Brian, we're going to sell a bunch of stuff. I mean, we have so many things. Leather, armor, you know, short sword, buckler, buckler, mace, mace, dagger, chainmail, chainmail. Um, I'll, ch I'll keep the halberd in the scale just to see if we need it for anything. But uh, fantastic. You need to get anything new, my dude? Any new fantastic items? No, yeah, this is really good. Um, I'm going to see if anybody wants to equip that. But first, let's go back here. 
and um, well, I guess there's really no point going in there, is there? But we can go here. Um, heal the entire party. 500 gold. That's quite expensive, but yes, we'll do it. It's one of those things where getting turned old might be extremely expensive to heal. And so, like, some games where, <laughs> like this, spells like that are absolutely blistering in terms of when you get an enemy have it cast on you, it's just really annoying because it does so much damage. Alright, um, I'm gonna exit the temple and just hope that I don't have to pay for that every single time. Um, I'm gonna actually cast a spell. And I'm gonna have Merlin cast, um, I'm gonna check some of these out. Like, the compass? Okay, so a compass appears below the scroll if I do that. I'm also gonna have Omar cast, um, Scry Sight. And it just says where I'm at in Scarabray. So that's not the best. But anyway, uh, we now have a compass that's telling us we're going south. Someday I'll save the game and fight that statue. I don't know when I'm going to be ready for it. Maybe... Mm, Sir Grady, how close are you to uh, getting up to the next level? You need 50. So let's go get him up a level and then... We can try to maybe fight that statue. I'll save it before we do that. I don't want to full party wipe, but it, it, it'll be interesting to just, you know, gauge our strength based on how well we do there. <laughs> Ding! We've won. That's what you get. We get a lamp. We do a lot of just barging into people's houses. It's fine. Attack, 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 cast, arc fire, and on the kobolds, and then... I don't see a reason to cast. I mean, I could cast mage gauntlets, I guess, um, but vorpal playing should be enough on uh, Marcus. Yep. <laughs> So they're hitting us. Eh, somebody got hit for three. Okay, they're down to three. All right. Yeah, Sir Grady took a little bit of a, a punch there, but that's okay. Attack, attack, attack. Defend, defend. Yes. Got him. It's still there? My God. What a monster. Got him. Hey, there he is. Sir Grady's ready. Many of the undead monsters are capable of draining experience levels, turning characters old and gray, or even turning characters to stone. Treat the undead with respect. In other words, kill them quickly. God, draining experience levels. If that's a permanent drain, in some of these old school games it could be, that's so painful. Um, advancement for Sir Grady. He got two hit points, five disarm, one identify, seven hide and shadows, and a constitution. Interesting. I don't know what identify does, but... Uh, Sir Grady, what does that mean? Inventory. Oh, yeah, he has a 25% chance to identify stuff. Okay, cool. Um, it's already identified. Okay. Let me go into Brian. What are you using as your weapon? You're using a halberd. What about El Cid? A broadsword. Um, the broadsword is min 2, max 8. What if... Oops. What if you used a halberd instead? You know what I mean? Do it. It's the broadsword has higher min damage, but the ceiling is lower. So just use that. As long as you can still use your shield, I think we're in good shape. Okay. So, well, let's just see. Let's just have some fun and get obliterated. I'm gonna go back to the, uh, the inn here. Um. What I'm going to do is click quit and exit. Wait, wait, wait. Let me get out of here first. Let me just make sure that you don't save the game by... I always forget how to do this. Um, oh, you can just pause it. Oh, and you can save it. Okay, great. So I'm going to make a new save. And I've always been saving it at the, that place. I didn't realize you could save it in the field. All right. So everyone, here's what you're going to see. You're going to see me um, obliterate... Uh, 
saves coming to test whether or not I'm strong enough to fight this statue. If I'm not, well, then I'll know. But I want to see. It's interesting. It'll be a good judge of our character. Attack it. The denizens assault you. You see one samurai. Fight bravely. Attack, attack. Um, let's bard song, and let's make it so... Uh, we get increased chance of hitting. And then let me hide in the shadows for a backstab. Then what I'm going to do is cast a spell of... Uh, battle skill on Brian. And then let's cast a spell of mage gauntlets also on Brian. Yes. Okay. Let me scooch back and see what just happened. All right, so we've got our buffs. We have um, Seeker's Ballad going on, and we have Seeker's Ballad going on. What is this? Um, light Detect Secret Doors. I didn't want to do that. That wasn't my intention. Um, all right, so we got Battle Skill. Uh, he couldn't hide in the shadows. All right, anyway. Um, we still face him, so we're going to fight. I'm going to attack, 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 and we will attack, and then Merlin can cast um, Word of Healing on Sir Grady, and Omar can cast Quick Fix on Sir Grady, and hopefully he won't die. Okay, so we got Sir Grady healed. Did we hit this guy at all? Sir Grady hit him for two. El Cid hit him for ten. Oh, he's dead. We got plate armor. We got 170 experience, and we got 111 gold. And now um, that dude is gone. So good. Let's go back here immediately um, and heal. It's going to be expensive. 105 gold. We can do that. Great. So it wasn't as bad as I thought. And we did it. Exit the temple. Alright, so we can now go in here. Well, that wasn't great. Uh, a gnome. Alright. Fight. You look like a... No, you don't look like a hobgoblin. You look like a gnome. Okay, fine. Very good. Alright, so we made it past there. Deeper dungeons require a higher hide and shadow skill. Keep upgrading your skill to 100 and beyond or you'll be discovered more often. Um, so that only gets upgraded. And we made it through a gate. And this takes us to... What is this? Um, it's a bar. It's called the Dragon's Grog. Or... Um, why don't you take our bard... At the bar. Marcus. Um, order a drink. Wine. Go down to the cellar and pick out a bottle. Uh-oh. This doesn't sound good. Cellars? Oh my god. They told me to do this. But now I'm in a dungeon. I'm not ready. Oh no. Look at this. <laughs> Uh, okay. My compass is spinning because I don't know where I am. So we're going to use our spells. Merlin has... That doesn't do anything. Uh, Omar. First of all, uh, cast light so we can see. And I guess the stairs are right where we are. Yeah, there's stairs up if we wish to take them. Okay, cool. No, not now. I'm 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 fine to explore this. Wow, how cool is this? We found our first little dungeon and it's in the wine cellar. Uh, we did just fully heal ourselves, but I'm no fool. I'm going to save the game. Uh and we'll just save it on save one again. Overwrite. 
And then we can kind of go uh, exploring and just see what we can find in this dungeon. Everybody has leveled up. We uh, got new spells. We only are missing a few of our spell points. We have light. We have lamps. Uh, and I have um, Marcus can just drink, um, you know, from the wineskin. Wait, have you been drinking from that the whole time? Why do we not have that many? And he's happy. He's ready to sing. Okay, great. So now we have all of our songs, if we want to. Let me save it again just to make sure I don't lose my songs. Um, and we're going to just explore this dungeon, and we will get into that uh, next time. This is a good place to end. Uh, we beat the statue, we leveled up, and we explored a bunch more of the town, found some new enemies, and found our first dungeon. Everyone, I want to thank you so much for watching. If you're interested in a book to read uh, that's SF or a game board game to play, I have links in the description below I think you might be interested in. If games and books I recommend, I uh, want to thank you again. I hope you have an excellent evening or day, and I look forward to reading your comments. I'll check you next time. Take care.